Hi, my name's Danny Porter of Danny's Digiscoping. Um, I'm going to do a short video on how we uh, affix um, quite an amazing adapter together. Um, the adapter is made by a Japanese firm called Digisco, who have been around for some time now, and um, they make some of the most highly machined, highly complicated pieces of um, digiscoping equipment that I've ever used. However, it is some of the, the best um, quality, uh, measured to the millimetre um, pieces of engineering of, I've ever used for digiscoping as well. Um, it was a great um, revelation when I first um, found out about them. Uh, I was able to make contact uh, with a uh, gentleman that works for Digisco uh, called uh, Yoshimaru Ishimaru um, through Facebook actually through the Digiscoping group there and he was very helpful it helped me uh, come together with a with an idea for a way of connecting some cameras to the Swarovski modular system scopes now this particular adapter is is just for the Nikon 1V1 or Nikon 1V3 or actually any of the Nikon 1 series uh, except I think for the V2 just because of the size and the shape of the camera um, but I'm going to show you how this all gets set up on the Swarovski modular scope for my uh, Nikon 1V3 okay well, the first thing we need to do is we need to attach what we call the D and Y adapter which is this bit here to the end of the telescope and we do that by removing the eye cup. This is just my other eye cup that I use for my Swarovski adapters. Normally you just have an eye cup on there. You take that off and it exposes a thread underneath around here. The D and Y adapter just screws onto that like so. And that's on there nice and tight now. Nothing will damage those threads. You'll always be able to get your eye cup back on. So you don't need to worry there. Then we need to go about putting the adapter together. Now one of the great things about this adapter is, is that it doesn't actually attach to the camera body anywhere at all. It only attaches, it holds onto the lens. It's quite quite brilliant really. And this is the back half of the adapter as you can see with the, the shutter release built into it. We place the lens of the camera inside the back there of the adapter and then this front half screws onto it like like that and that actually grips onto the lens really nice and tight okay and then the lens then attaches into the camera body like that you can see once everything's in the right place it all lines up perfectly the shutter release is all perfect it does take a little bit of faffing around don't get me wrong so we can always loosen readjust and re-tighten as we need to, make sure it's done up nice and tightly. Okay. You see there that the shutter release is already over the shutter button. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. And that's how it holds onto the camera around the lens. And then this is an optional extra. This is a uh, a sight that it's a red dot sight. I tend to find it works good for um, short range targets as opposed to longer range targets. So basically the smaller the field of view you have to find something in the easier this makes it and you, you it's quite easy to set up you just turn it on align the dot or align the scope with something and then line the dot up to what the scope is focused on and then it's right just about every time certainly if it's not bang on it gets you in the right area so those vital seconds are saved and before the bird flies off as we I'm sure we all understand that one that sits in there like so and then we have this part this is the TA42 this is what they call the turbo adapter simply because it's one screw, easy on, easy off. Okay, there's various different sizes of turbo adapter, but for the Swarovski system, this is the one that we use. Okay, and that attaches, and it also helps to hold that last piece, the um, red dot side into play. Okay, and that tightens up and tightens up, so it gets nice and tight, like that, and make sure it's done right up. So there's no chance that's going to come loose. And slide it over, tighten it up, and there we have it. The whole thing in place on the scope. 
you still, still retain functionality of the scope, it's still possible to use the scope by taking the camera and adapter off. We can still look through the telescope to use it as a scope. Now, as you might expect with precision equipment, it's, it's not the cheapest um, stuff in the world. You know, it's probably going to set you back about £350-£400, but it is perfect. Um, there's and, and the, the images that it creates, uh, the, the, the eye relief has been measured to absolute perfection with the lens to the, in relation to the eyepiece on the scope. Uh, the depth of field is great. You get great focus and sharpness right across the image, which is um, a real plus. So if you feel that this is an adapter that you might like to uh, know more about, either contact myself through my website at dannysdigiscoping.com and or if you're on Facebook contact Yoshi directly um, you'll find him on the Facebook Digiscoping group it's probably the easiest place to find him and send him a message his English is very good it's certainly easier to understand than their website so you can always drop him a message and uh, tell him you've seen the video or seen my video and wanted more information and he'll be able to tell you what cameras you can use what adapters he's got it's not just for Swarovski scopes it's for all the other scopes as well um, but he's the man, if, if, if anyone knows about his equipment, it's, it's Yoshi himself. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, good luck.